Yo. Hey, what's up? You're early, man. Yeah, my bad, my bad. So, can we do something cool so it's not just bland, like us sitting Yeah, here? don't move. Okay. Whoa! All right, so. That's, that's all right. If at any right, point in time, time, here you go. Okay. If at any point in time this interview gets boring. Just uh, jump up and grab the flamethrower? Yeah, point it at me and keep it in your lap if you want. There's still a small flame here. You know what? Oh. Let's, uh. I'll just give that to you. Whoa, okay. So this is Mr. Beast, uh, Jimmy. Yep. Mr. Beast has one of the biggest channels on all of YouTube. I don't feel like it, but I, I guess, you know, it's kind of just like numbers on a screen. Your last video had 13 million views. The video before that, 14 million, 11 million, 11 million, 15 million, 15 million, 21 million, 14 million, 24 million, 18 million. It's been a while since I looked at this. Wow. I, I don't know how to like, I mean, what do I say to that? You know, like, yeah, we get a lot of views, you know? <laughs> I mean, you should be proud. So yeah. How many really views on YouTube? Uh, per video? Uh, or overall, like two billion. Nothing crazy, because like a year and a half ago, I was kind of a nobody. You, you, just, know? you just said two billion, nothing crazy. Well, Logan Paul has five billion, so. Two billion is 30% of the world's population. Okay, okay. Yeah, I guess. That's one out of three human beings on the entirety of planet Earth. Describe to me, like, describe your channel, describe your content. Yeah, so that is where it gets complicated because as you saw, not a single one of those videos were like even remotely like similar to the other ones. So it's usually just me being an idiot and um, that's about like the core part of it and then just spending lots of money and, and lots of time and just doing whatever, honestly. It's, it's impossible, like what do you, you know? You read the dictionary for eight straight hours. You mm -hmm. spun a fidget spinner for 24 straight hours. Twice, yeah. You watched paint dry for an <laughs> hour. That was, that's the peak of human evolution. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be painting this board and I'm gonna watch it dry. Yeah. You said PewDiePie over and over and over a hundred thousand times. PewDiePie. PewDiePie, 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 You spent 24 hours underwater. You said Logan Paul 100,000 times. How many hours straight did you watch It's Every Day, bro? 10 hours. 10 hours of watching. And when I went to bed that night, it was playing in my head too. Like I had to listen to other music, so I just stopped hearing It's Every Day, bro. Like literally that entire night, it just kept going in my head. You counted to 100,000, it took mm -hmm. you 40 hours? Like 44, yeah. Okay, so 44 hours of counting. Let's just, let's, one, two, three, four, five. If you watch the video back, you can slowly see. See, like my soul leave my body. You're losing your mind. Yeah. 1,287,201, You don't feel like you're going crazy when you're well back I mean that was a different time that was the hardest one and I was a I mean I just really wanted it you know I wasn't I dropped out of college I wasn't really making much so I was like you know I knew it would go viral and I just kind of had to like just put in the hours you know well okay let's talk about that so you're you're 20 now but you started your YouTube channel when you were 12 yes on an older channel deleted it then I and the first hundred couple hundred videos on your channel now yeah are just kind of like a minecraft and just random things yeah it was and uh it was basically yeah i remember thinking like every day back then like i'm never gonna be a youtuber but i really want to be a youtuber and it just like after like year after year after year after year after year after year like literally it just like this is never gonna happen but i'm still gonna try and you know what i mean it just i just remember like every night being like is it, is it ever gonna happen, you know? You were making no money, you had very little audience, yeah. but you still stuck with it. And the first, I think like your first video that broke a million. Last one, spin it for me. 100. 100. All right, break it off, I don't want anymore. <laughs> that seemed foreshadowing, like you yeah. made a, a thousand videos of Minecraft and a thousand experimental videos, none really found traction. And then, and then you did this yeah. one that was a, a little bit about your personality, a lot about a stunt. And well, part of it too is I literally didn't even have a camera back then. Like I, I had a terrible laptop because I used to make a dollar a day and I didn't even have a microphone so I had to save up for months to buy a microphone. So that's why my first videos were literally recorded with the built-in like microphone on my laptop. And then I got a microphone, then I got a computer. 
And then I got an iPhone, which then, because I had a Windows phone, which only recorded like 480, I couldn't record with that. So once I got an iPhone, after years of like all this stuff, then I started recording myself and I moved a little bit away from gaming. And then I was able to buy a camera and, but I got like 200,000 subscribers with like an iPhone 5 recording in 30 FPS, 720p. You hear that? And uh, yeah, and that's why like, I tell people all the time, start a channel, they're like, I can't afford it. And they have like, literally like the new iPhone. And people used to always complain about the quality and I was just like, okay, well, I can't do anything. I need my next paycheck to buy something. The first to a million was this stunt about you. Mm -hmm. And then the first to 10 million had to do with money. Okay, and ooh, okay. playing with money in a way that I don't think anybody on YouTube or in any sensible human being on planet Earth had ever done before. Yeah, yeah. Was that an aha? What do you mean? Like, how did, why did I do it or like? No, I, I think I can understand why you did it. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. When you put that out there and you saw that it, people went nuts over it, were you like, there's something to this? Uh, I don't know. I think I, my mindset, if you want to know how I always thought, I just always saw it as I just reinvest everything I make. Like literally up till a few months ago, Every time I got a paycheck, that was just like the month's budget. So like, like I said, I saved up a dollar a day to buy a microphone. When I made a few thousand dollars, I just spent a few thousand dollars. When I made $10,000, I just spent 10. So it's like, as I made more money, I was just like, all right, well now I, I want to spend it on video somehow. That was just my mindset, if, if that's but, what you're asking. I guess what I'm asking is, I feel like if I were to ask 100 people who aspire to be YouTubers, mm -hmm what they would do to ten, with $10,000 to help them get to success. I imagine they would say things like, I want to travel more, I want to get better cameras, yeah, I yeah, want to learn how to use like it. That. Yeah, yeah. I don't imagine any aspiring filmmaker saying, if someone gave me $10,000, I'd give it to a pizza delivery man. Yeah, or a homeless person was the first one I did, yeah. My and, first ever brand deal. They offered me five grand and I said double it and I'll go give it to a homeless person. And then they thought I was lying and then I just they gave it to me and I just walked outside and gave it away. Well, I'm a YouTuber, I mean you can see the camera. And so I'm just it's a series where I just, you know, be nice and just give people some help. So uh, if you wanna take it, it's about ten thousand dollars. How much of that is um you know, philanthropy, how much of that is you wanting to help somebody and how much of that is you seeing an opportunity yeah, to make a to video get views. that's gonna get views? Yeah, no, I like helping people. I've always, like, even when I, you know, didn't have much money, if I had money in my wallet, I'd just give it away to, like, homeless people and stuff, which sounds fake. I don't know how to prove it to people, but I will say my overarching goal in life is to make a lot of money and then before I die, give it away. It's what I wanna do. Save that? No, <laughs> let's talk about money. Okay, yeah. No, I, I really do like helping people. Like, I don't, I don't have a mansion or a nice car or anything like that, I just, I'd rather spend it doing things like that. Your channel description says, do not email me asking for money. You will be blocked and ignored. Yeah, and that is because I need to be able to read brand emails and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's not because I don't want to help people. And that's funny because some of your biggest video hits go like this. $10,000 to a homeless man. $1,000 to random strangers. $10,000 to Twitch streamers. $10,000 to pizza delivery guy. $10,000 to an Uber driver. $100,000 to your mom. Dropping $20,000 from a drone. I'm not done yet. $20,000 tip to a waitress. Elena Custer was waitressing at a family restaurant in North Carolina when two customers came in and ordered something pretty basic, a glass of water. When I went over there, they were gone and there was a note on the table um, on a napkin that said, waters were great. And then just, the stack of hundreds sitting there. And I was like, oh my gosh. So who's the mystery $10,000 tipper? His name is Jimmy Donaldson. And on YouTube, he goes by the name Mr. Beast. I, I guess the question is like, what is it about giving away? Money, yeah. Yeah, why do I do it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's fun. Like when you give someone so much money that it's like what they make in a year and you're just like, throw it at them and see how they react. It's just, it's so much fun to me. I don't know. I mean. I don't know how to put it. Like, I, I, you, you've helped people, you know, when you just give them stuff like that that they were just not expecting and you see their face light up. And, and I've had people, a lot of it's off camera, but like come back the next day and be like, you know, because of you, I can take a day off every week and spend with my daughter and things like that. And it just, it's fun. And that does matter to you. Yeah, of course. Why do you think those videos do so well on YouTube? 
Um, well, there's a big misconception that controversy and negativity is the only way to get clicks because like that's how it is in media for the most part like they they don't want good stories they just want bad things but I think on YouTube it's different and people just haven't realized it like positivity is just as clickbait as negativity can you talk me through like your formula okay. for a video for uh, from, from ideation to, oh, to upload. yeah well see this is where it gets uh, messy because they're all different I need you to pick a video that make it a little easier on me last person we made a video where everybody put their hand on a Lamborghini. Yeah, yeah. The last person to take their hand off the Lamborghini got won. an older one, which they didn't end up wanting, so we just gave them 20 grand. The last person to take their hand off the Lamborghini got the Lamborghini. You, yeah. You yeah. don't need to downplay it. That's fucking madness. Yeah. Okay, so like, where does last person to step outside of a, a, a circle. circle you arbitrarily grew up yeah, on the gets 100 one. grand? Like, yeah. where do these ideas come from? And I mean, there's there's all sorts of things like because before you start a video like that, is it like what's gonna get the most views, or is it what am I most interested in Ooh, these seeing? Are, these are hard questions. It's mostly what what do people want to see? You know, like it's like if it gets views, for the most part, right? I mean, it's because no, people it's people, people click on it, that. and like I want I want to give people what they want. You know what I mean? I think so. Oh, okay. Well, I I what I know that is like. How do you know? And I think this is your like this is your mastery. This is okay. what you do better than anyone else. And this is why you have two billion views and seventeen million. But it's not all about the idea too. It's also about execution, which like we try to all around be above the rest. You know, like I mean, you anyone can clickbait, but it, you, do you actually like deliver on it? Like we say, we put a hundred million Orbeez in the backyard. We put a hundred million Orbeez in the backyard, even if it's like brutal. I mean, we're talking like months that video is in the work, but we deliver. You know what I mean? Your titles and thumbnails, I think, are the most irresistible. Um, <laughs> I get that a lot. Thank you. I appreciate it. So how much consideration goes into the thumbnail and the title even before you made the movie? So like the way I like to look at it is if other people are spending one hour thinking of video ideas uh, or whatever, probably more like 30 minutes and like five hours filming, I want to spend 10 hours thinking of ideas and days filming. You know, it's not just spend more time ideas. It's like everything. Every time I ask you about your process, mm -hmm. you talk about sort of like what's going to get the most views. Yeah, yeah. And I guess I want to understand like, is that for you as a YouTuber? Is that is that your mission? Is that why you're a YouTuber? Is to, because to get views? To get the views? Ooh, you're, you're asking deep questions. Well. I mean, there's there's a lot of factors to consider because I like uh, we talked about before. I have a lot of employees. I mean, like my mom. A lot, a lot of people depend on me, so I I have to keep the revenue coming. And like I said, I want to help people, uh, which that sounds fake, but you know, I I want to make money so later on in life I can do big things. So like a lot of that is correlated with views, but like. There's so many misconceptions that we have to dive into because people think just because you go for views means you can't have fun. But you can pull views and you can have fun, which is what we purposely try to do. So like, I don't think necessarily if I'm helping people, I'm not being too misleading. I mean, some things are a little fluff and like, you know, we're having fun and stuff and we're being ethical. I don't I don't see any issue with going for views. Not that you're implying that, but like the lots of people don't realize all those factors, you know? Was that the motivation to start being a YouTuber? Views? I mean, it, I mean, just everything. When I, I mean, I, I didn't even make money the first two years or whatever. So I mean, looking into your old videos, like it's clear you didn't make any money for the first five, yeah. six years. So I just loved being a YouTuber because, like, back then I was not passionate about hardly like anything. It was just like I enjoyed it, and it was just what I wanted more than anything. Like even if I, I even if I had ten thousand subscribers to this day, I'd still be making videos. That's clear. I didn't doubt that for a second. Yeah. Um, but I want to know more about the. Uh, the motivation. Yeah, but I feel like motivation isn't like you, you can be motivated by more than one thing. I'm motivated because I want to support my mom and my family. I'm motivated because I want to employ my friends and help them. I'm motivated because I want to help other people. I'm motivated because I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be, I mean, I feel like that's another misconception. You can have lots of things that drive you. you know? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, like, there's just tons of stuff that drive me. And everything drives me to wanting to be a YouTuber. So, I kind of obsess over it. I think that it requires, I think finding success on YouTube requires that kind of motivation, like mm -hmm. that kind of ambition has to be fueled by all those factors. Not just wanting to be famous and have clout? Yeah, I mean I think it has to be something substantive and real because it's easy to look at a Mr. Beast and be like, this guy does 20 million views a video. Yep. Um, 
but it's much harder to look at Mr. Beast in 2015, yeah. who's uploaded a thousand videos and you're making $30. I remember, I'm like I said before, so many years and I was just like, I mean everyone that like knew me and knew I put all my time into it was like, is it ever gonna work out? Are you sure you should spend this much time doing it? Even my mom, like everyone, it's like, after some point it's just like, you feel like you should quit, but you want it so badly you just keep going. Yeah, it's not an inspiring story until you've succeeded. Exactly, I know, and so many people say they want to do what I do, but it's like, do you really? Because I literally gave up my entire teenage years, before I was 13, till after I was 19, so my whole teenage years were grinding on YouTube. And then other people grind for a year, or two years, or even three years, and then they don't make it and they complain, and it's like, I mean, you're just kind of scratching the surface, you know, like, you gotta put in more hours. Hey! Hey! Calling all bros, you can save YouTube. Subscribe to PewDiePie. There it is again. Look at look at this. This is the busiest street in the world. He's just like, hey guys, how's it going? What is your relationship with Felix with PewDiePie? Ooh, that's a fun one. Uh, I talked to him on Twitter DMs. That's about as far as we've gotten. But I guess what I'm going is like, what you've done some crazy things <laughs> for him, yeah. For Felix, you did billboards. But like, let's not act like I didn't get stuff in return. Well, I mean, no, that's did. where I'm going with this. So yeah. like, let's let's run down the list. You did you bought billboards. full size billboards that said subscribe to PewDiePie. Yes. Said his name a hundred thousand times. You said his name a hundred thousand. You made about a dozen videos in the early days saying how much money does PewDiePie. Yeah. Make. Okay. Good. I'm glad you brought those up. I used to make videos on PewDiePie like before he was even number one. Yeah, and way like, back yeah. in the day. And you went to the Super Bowl. Yeah. So you could get a. literally just tweeted like an idea like that is expensive and difficult to realize do you do that because you know it's going to be great content or do you do that out of like a, a, a blind oh love God. and loyalty to Felix no obviously great content like if I was doing things out of blind well it's hard because I want to help PewDiePie so the, the video has to go viral though to help him so it's kind of like those coincide like I like PewDiePie but like I need a good video so PewDiePie gets the most promotion you see what I'm saying it's I like do. if the video doesn't get 20 million views he doesn't gain a lot of subscribers have you have you fucked up yet on youtube no i haven't i i i've had like maybe like one bad video made on me it's just like nothing really i feel like i feel like at some point i'm gonna like slip up do something on accident and then like people are gonna turn on me so but you, you haven't moment, you haven't had to make an apology video no yet. not yet i mean yeah, that's incredible I, okay in 2015, mm -hmm. you made a video called Dear Future Me. Oh boy, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I did lots of them. You got, this is your first one. Yeah. What's up, me? Now, I know you're gonna forget about this video. It is currently October 4th, 2015. It will be 2017 when you see this. Yeah, I'm gonna schedule upload this video for two years in the future. So, um, in two years. I hope you have at least 100K subs. If you don't have 100K subs, I, um... Why make a video like that? I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was creative, honestly. I, yeah. I agree. Yeah, and that's what I try to do, is just creative things, because that's, like, it's, it's you know, obviously that's how you get more views, because it's not been done before, but I, it's also more intriguing, and it builds a more engaged fan base and things like that. It also shows you at a time... Before all this, that we had a good idea. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. No, but when you're vulnerable, and mm -hmm. you're, you know, you're small, you're a struggling YouTuber. Mm -hmm. And you still had sort of the conviction to make these, these guesses, these yeah. prophecies of where you're going to be in the future. <laughs> yeah. And the reality of those those guesses was so far off. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, you were being totally earnest, and you were saying, right now I have this many subscribers, and if I work hard, I know in six months I can have this many subscribers. And the reality was, in six months you had this many. Subscribers. Yeah. I do remember too. My mom used to always tell me like, stop making videos and go study and things like that, like all the time. I know, right? I know she works for me. Well, anytime you want to do something, there's no paved path. Yeah. You know, if you want to be a car mechanic and you were, you know, your first job was at like Jiffy Lube as an intern, you made minimum wage, your mom wouldn't be like, stop wasting your time. Yeah. She'd be like, well, you're on your way to becoming a mechanic. Yeah. And you're, you're making an honest Res living. Respect yeah. that. I think something people don't know about you is um, your history with Crohn's disease. Yes. I don't, I, it's not like I don't mind talking about it. It's just, I don't what know. is What is Crohn's disease? Yeah, it's an inflammatory bowel disease. It's just more like... How does it affect I've you? Actually, I've really never talked about it publicly. I don't even know. I've never even had anyone ask me about it publicly, really. Do you, do you want me to end this part? No, no, no. It's just... Uh, it's, how, how does it, how does it a, a 
you're 20 years old, how does yeah. it affect your... Well, it's not as bad now. It's just like, I used to be extremely sick back when I used to... Ah, oh, fuck, I don't know. That's a lot. There's a lot of story to that. I don't know if we want to deep dive into that. Uh, like, I just get medicine a lot and eat healthy and... I'm pretty low on energy, which I'm better... I'm not fake, so like, just why in my videos I'm just not super high energy like other people, but it's just like... And that's a product of Crohn's disease. A little bit of it, yeah. It's low energy, not as enthusiastic, things like that, yeah. There's a lot to that, but I think we probably should just say that for a different time. Okay. Do you not want me to include that? No, no, you can. Like, I don't mind, because like, if someone watching this has Crohn's, it might be inspiring, so I don't mind. It's just, I don't, I don't even really know all the ins and outs of Crohn's. I'm trying to get a class from a gastroenterologist to learn more, because like, I feel kind of weird talking about something when I'm not even really fully educated on it. I just know like, inflammatory, it's a disease in my small intestine or something. I, I, I dig your videos. Thank you. But I think the most impressive thing about, I think the most impressive thing about what you've done on YouTube has been your relentless persistence. Thank you. Which we've gone over a lot in this video, which I appreciate because like, I feel like most people don't, you know, and they just like, would just be like, so you give away lots of money, cool, you know? Well, I, I, I don't think that there's enough emphasis put on that in the creator community. I think that, mm -hmm. you know, the, the people that get the most views are the most successful. It's just the way it works. Mm -hmm. And if you're the most successful, it means typically you have some notoriety, you, have a, 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 you make a shitload of money. And that's what aspiring creators look at. They look at these people up on their pedestals and they're like, fantastic, that's what I want. But they don't pay attention to... how to, to get there. Yeah, and so, I mean, it's just literally... I mean, every day over the course of years, every dollar you make, put it back into it, like obsess over it. Like that's, that, that's, that's your advice for aspiring creators. Yeah, like, I mean, like go all in. And like the biggest thing is if, if everyone's ideas are like, love, like if everyone's putting a few hours into their videos, you're putting a few days, if like everything, go above and beyond, make sure you're nothing like anyone else. Like you'll get noticed, but it's, I mean, it's gonna take forever. It's gonna take a lot of your thought, you know, thinking time and stuff. And, how much money have you given away over the course? Oh, of I don't know. It, I know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's nothing crazy though. It's like, it's not even, it's probably not even 2 million yet. But like I said, like the amount I've spent is pretty high because- Right, but uh, we're not talking about video production here. I'm talking about literally you handing people stacks a of lot. Benjamin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't, for more of the recent ones, it's usually I hand them fake money and then off camera write them a check. That way I don't get okay, robbed. Okay, but it's the same robbed. thing. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever, did you ever think you'd be as successful as you are right now? It depends when you ask me. Like, once I started to like blow up, I did. But like, I mean, if you asked me five years ago, no, obviously not. If you and I were making a video right now and it's called Dear okay. Mr. Beast. Yeah. And well, you were talking to yourself 10 years in the future, what would you? What would I say to myself 10 years in the future? Where do you think you'll be 10 years from now? Where I think I'll, well, I'm kind of ignorant on a lot of things. I, I'm 20, I don't, I don't really know. I don't know what I, what I truly, want to do but or no I know what I truly want to do but I don't know like I don't know you know what I mean like I don't know what content is gonna be like, but you so you think you'll be a youtuber yeah 100 percent 100 percent I'm gonna be making videos literally till YouTube's not a thing last question yeah um you have to forgive me because I'm a dad all right hit me this is a dad question yeah are you saving any of your money well, yeah, of course. Like, like I said, now I am. I well, used... You say, of course. You just told me you gave away two million dollars. Yeah, yeah. Well, like <laughs> last year, we, it's funny because like last year we spent millions of dollars on videos. It's crazy. It's a miracle I didn't go broke because I. But uh, yeah, now I am. Like, which is why if you had this conversation with me a year ago, I've been like, no, I have no money. But now I do. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Is there is there before we end this interview? Yeah, is there yeah, any man. is there anything else you'd like to say to my um? To my subscriber. My well, audience. this was a lot about me. I I loved your uh, vlogs back when you daily vlog. Like I watched them every day. Big inspiration. Oh, and, man, I appreciate that. Yeah. Jimmy, thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, this is let's, awesome. Uh, let's do something cool for your outro. Okay, let's do something. <laughs>